Johnny and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business? We can help. Again, our title sponsor is Able Auctions. Tyler Mott, oh. slated to become a, an unrestricted free agent in the summer, had, has had such a strong season on that effective fourth line uh, for the Canucks. His agent, this poor man, <laughs> not only is he a hockey agent, he's a hockey agent who lives near you. Uh, he's two, three, four blocks away. I just, I, I can't imagine. He has to be knocking on his door like every no, three no, minutes. No, he's two, three, four. He's too far for me to walk. He's three, uh, four by. Rich Evans, senior VP, Wasserman Hockey, uh, joins us now among his clients, uh, Tyler Mott uh, of the Canucks. Rich, thanks so much for doing this. How are you, sir? Good, good. How are you guys today? Very, very, very well. Have you been in touch with uh, Canucks management recently regarding Tyler? Yeah, I mean, we talk, uh, we talk pretty regularly uh, about other, you know, Tyler and the other players that uh, that we represent uh, in the organization. But before we go on, I got to say, you know, with Rick, you know, mm-hmm. I don't usually do a lot of media stuff, but the guy just wears you down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we know. Yeah. So here I am. Thank you, Rich. Thank you, Rich. <laughs> Uh, Madison Bowie is one of the other uh, players you have in the Canucks organization. Hey, hey Rich, yeah. how would you describe the season Tyler Mott is having? Uh, I think he's having a terrific season. Um, I think, uh, you know, statistically, um, he's been he's been doing well, and then he does a, a lot of things away from the puck, you know, that don't show up in goals and assists. It's been really effective in uh, in help, helping the team, and and you know, even this this fourth line label that that. Uh, gets thrown around a lot. I, I just think it's not really a proper characterization of his value um, to the club. Like there's a sort of this view out there that fourth liners are kind of interchangeable players. And, uh, you know, that's just not accurate. Um, and I think t- Tyler's statistics this year, you know, he's like seventh in the team on, in ice time with over 14 minutes a game. That's sort of third line minutes. Um, and he's just doing a lot of different things to help the team win, which is what he's focused on. He's a very team-oriented guy and wants to win hockey games. And uh, he's been certainly helping the Canucks do that. So it's been very successful in that respect. Okay, Rich, I wouldn't mind if you uh, elaborated on that because this comes up a lot with Tyler Mott. While he's a, he's a speedy fourth liner, he's extremely replaceable. You touched on it. Uh, could you just go a little further with that, if you don't mind? I, you know, it's it's a, it's an interesting thing that you know fans sort of talk about a little bit. But you know, in much the same way that uh, a top six player on one team might not be interchangeable with a top six player on another team, mm-hmm. fourth players. Um, you know, are not just interchangeable. Uh, some guys are able to drive lines, and that's what I think Tyler's doing right now with, uh, with the two guys that he's playing with. He's driving a line, and they're having a lot of success. And, and then when you look at it statistically, um, you know, for guys who are out against the other team's top players, they're all plus players right now. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Tyler currently sits seventh on the team in ice time per game. So seventh is generally considered a third line guy. He's on the, you know, he's on the ice at the end of games. Uh, the other night against the Islanders, when they're protecting a one goal league in the last seven minutes, he was on the ice for half the time, you know, in that game, which is, which is really important game. He had 15 minutes of even strength ice time, which was, I think, uh, I think only three forwards had more. So I think the coaching staff recognizes that Tyler's value, uh, isn't, uh, equivalent to this sort of quote-unquote fourth-line value, and the statistics bear that out. Hey, Rich, in your talks with Tyler, has he expressed a desire to stay in Vancouver? He loves the city? Yeah, yeah, no, he's been, uh, you know, he really enjoys it. He's, he's invested uh, in the city as well. You know, I'd encourage uh, fans to Google Tyler Mott mental health. Mm-hmm. Um, there was this, uh, and you'll see this video he did on Sportsnet, um, a year and a bit ago, um, you know, it's an eight-minute video talking about mental health awareness. It's pretty powerful stuff, so I'd really encourage the, the fans to look at Tyler Mott mental health. And, you know, these are the kinds of things he's been trying to do in the city. Um, and he really enjoys uh, living here and playing here. Hey, Rich, uh, 
uh, this is your job to talk to your client. It's a big story. It's a Canadian market. Either he signs by the deadline or he's traded or he's kept. I mean, there's three scenarios here, Rich. Uh, obviously, you've talked to your client about all three. Everyone's guessing what's going to happen. Uh, we're getting down to the crunch time, is it not? Um, I mean, I don't know whether it's crunch time. What are we, uh, 10 days away? 11. Something like that. Like in hockey... There's a deadline for a reason, and uh, you know we'll all work towards that deadline. Okay, so now the big one. He's at uh, cap hits one two, real money's one four. Uh, everybody says everyone's got an opinion on what his salary should be. You're rich. We're in a Canadian market. I would uh, presume the number out there is everybody thinks he he should get over two million. Um, have you t- have you talked numbers yet, or is that going to be private? That's always private, Ray. You know that. You're always digging, though, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> Trying to get it out. Trying to get it out there. Okay, I got to yeah. ask you. I got to ask you about another. Uh, you you are uh, the advisor for the right shot defenseman Jake Livingston, a BC boy from Nelson, a Langley Riverman, Minnesota mm-hmm. State. A lot of NHL teams after him. Uh, could he come out this year, or is, could he go back, Rich, uh, for another year? Uh, I mean, right now he's focused on the playoffs for Mankato. Um, you know, that's his, that's his big focus right now. Uh, we'll see. You know, my expectation, you know, today is that, um, you know, he's probably likely to go back to school for, for at least another year, but we'll see how it goes. Rich, what's your uh, opinion of Canucks management uh, right now? Jim Rutherford, Patrick Alvin, et cetera. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I've known Jim a long time. Patrick, I've got to know uh, the last couple of years. With the Penguins, uh, we've done deals together. Um, they're both straightforward guys, and uh, those are the kinds of people that you know are, are a pleasure to deal with. There's no, uh, there's no BS. Um, they're just straightforward, and that's how we try to operate as well. What is, what is back to Tyler? What does he like about playing with Highmore and, and Lamico? Um, I mean, I think with Tyler, um, being able to play with fast players. Is uh, is something that uh, that really assists him in, in helping his game. Um, I mean, historically, here in Vancouver, uh, he hasn't always played with guys that are you know would be characterized as fleet of foot. Um, mm-hmm. And so I think you know being able to play with speed is something that really suits Tyler well, and um, you know allows him to, to to generate a little bit more offense than maybe he's done in the past. Um, you know, I think someone pointed out the other day, actually it might have been Rick, that, you know, in the last, you know, 82 NHL games, he has 17 goals. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, that's pretty impressive, 17 goals. Uh, and those include, uh, you know, playoff games um, in the bubble for a couple of years ago. So, you know, if you're just sitting there and looking at and you're looking at a player who has 17 goals over a full season, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Um, so Tyler Mott's been your client for how long, Rich? Um, for as long as he's had an aid, uh, an advisor, an agent, so way back, yeah. you know, before yeah. Michigan, when so, we played him. So you know him well. Do you get more phone calls from him or more phone calls from Rick? <laughs> <laughs> Rick. It's not even yeah. close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get more texts, though, Rich. You get a lot of texts from me. A lot yeah, of, co- yeah, lot of no, contact. I, it, yeah. It, yeah a, lot, a lot is one word to describe it. Yeah. <laughs> they, they roll in every day, it seems. <laughs> we won't ask you how many you actually reply to. Thanks for this, Rich. Yeah, no worries, guys. You bet.